Hello, this is Bobby from My Service Depot. Today, we'll be going over service agreements in Smart Service. Service agreements are contracts that you can set up for your customers. This is good for customers who have maintenance or services done on a scheduled basis. First, we'll have to make sure that the service agreements are active by going to the Setup menu and selecting the Service Agreement tab. Here, you'll be able to enable the service agreements, select the service agreement type, change the name of the service agreements, as well as choose whether or not to include jobs and equipment on the service agreements, and then down below you can add any comments or terms for those service agreements. Now, once they're active, you'll be able to go to any customer record and see a new tab labeled service agreement. From here, you'll select the add new service agreement button, and it'll open up a brand new agreement for you. From here, you'll just go type in the name. After that, you'll add in the type. A salesperson can also be assigned to the service agreement, as well as the price level for the customer. Below those, you'll be able to select an early renewal discount or purchase orders that you want to imply for this service agreement. To the right of that, you'll be able to set up the original contract date, the last time it was renewed, when it expires, or when the warranty expires. To the right of that, you'll be able to select the contract period, as well as how often you want it to bill. Underneath that, you'll see the contract amount, the bill amount, and the renewal amount. Now, the contract amount will actually fill out as soon as you start putting items onto it. Now, these items will also appear on the uh, invoice once it's posted over to QuickBooks. So as you can see, since I added the furnace maintenance and the AC maintenance, it has gone up to $250 for the con contract amount. Now, if for any reason this bill amount doesn't change automatically, you can click this Sigma button to the right and it'll update it for you. And then the renewal amount, you can go ahead and type in, say, you want it to be $250 as well. Down below to the bottom left, you'll be able to add in any notes. To the right of that, you can actually select any of the existing jobs for this customer, as well as equipment to attach to this service agreement. Click Save, and you'll be able to see that service agreement pop up on the list. Now when you select that, you'll be able to see any of the jobs as well as equipment that are assigned to that service agreement. For new jobs created after the service agreement, you will actually be able to see a new service agreement field down at the bottom where you can select which one it's going to be a part of. Now to post the service agreements we'll go from the home menu to the office and select service agreements from the list. Here you'll be able to filter down by contract type, contract period, the status of the contract as well as how often it's billed. You can even filter by the expiration date, the original date, the last time it was renewed, the last time it was invoiced, and the next time it's going to be invoiced. Click the refresh button and those will pop up on the list. Now to the top you'll also see four checkboxes. With these you'll determine how the invoice is going to react once it's over in QuickBooks. You can mark them to be printed or emailed as well as whether or not you want to include the jobs that are attached to the service agreement on the invoice. You also have the ability to change the invoice date as well. When you're ready, click Post and it will post over to QuickBooks. For more information, you can go to smartserviceinfo.com.